and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Echo Zillion. We're going to be playing three decks today with some of the champions that have been buffed. We're going to be playing an Echo deck here and then a Nocturne deck up next and finally a Braum deck after that. Um, as you all know, I, I like playing all three of those champs. We also have Renekton, Lux, some other champs that were buffed that we'll get to those as well. And we're going to be playing different different decks with these champions, you know, not just this one. Um, but these are the decks that we're playing to start with. I just wanted to play Zillion with Echo to begin with. But there's a lot of different ways to play Echo decks, and we'll kind of experiment with other ones. But how Echo is buffed is it now only takes four times to predict to level up Echo. So we should have leveled up Echo all the time in this deck. We are a very heavy predict deck, and we're going to be trying to um, use that predict for Kahiri the return for our finisher. The th I, as far as like winning, so like playing a predict deck like this with Echo, what I've kind of figured, like what I've kind of found is that like winning games is kind of tough. You can do a bunch of cool stuff and everything like that, but the, how do you actually translate that into a win? And so that's why I want to play Kahiri and Glorious Evolution, kind of thinking that maybe these kind of cards can help finish games out. Glorious Evolution, just a card that is an underrated card that does a great job of finishing games. Once you play this, everything having minus one cost is awesome because now all these, you know, tons of two mana cards will now only cost one mana. And um, and then also the augment, like the, the augment is really underrated. So now everything has augment. So everything's going to get a lot of power, you know, because every spell you play, especially when we have basically everything costing one mana or zero mana, right? Like everything's going to be one or zero. So we'll be able to play lots and lots of stuff. It grows our team up. So our, our team's going to have a lot of power for finishing out games. Now, of course, if they have a lot of power, your opponent can just block. So we need to give them overwhelm. We're going to have uh, three copies of the Absolver that can give stuff Overwhelm. Like if we have a big Kahiri, give Kahiri Overwhelm, that could really finish games, especially when we're talking about with Echo and the ability to have some rallies. Um, you know, maybe we can make like big Kahiri, attack once, rally, attack again, that kind of stuff. We're also going to try a spicy Herald of the Magus to give Echo Overwhelm because, uh, you know, Echo is you know, usually a 5-3 quick attack. Well, making that a 7-5 quick attack Overwhelm especially when we're talking about the rallies and everything, that could be pretty nice. And so we're going to have one Herald. Now, it's not going to be easy to enable Herald. So, like, we don't have a lot of them, just the one of them. But we have uh, three Ancient Preparations, two Ancient Hourglass, three Preservarium, and then, of course, the Time Bombs that Zillion can create. So those are going to be our ways to get to four landmarks. And if we do have Herald going, then we can also use, you know, Hourglass to reset it and get another buff, or of course, Iterative Improvements. I kind of feel like Iterative Improvement can just kind of go with a lot of cards in our deck, whether we want like a 3-4 Predict, or you know more Predicts with the Perfectionist, or maybe more Hexite Crystals with Fallen Feline. But then of course, our top end cards, you know, like that Herald or Kahiri could be a good one to Iterative Improvement. All right, so that's that's our deck. That's what we're going to try. We're not, you know, no removal in here, basically. Um, our only removal is Hexite Crystal and Time Bomb. <laughs> you know, so like we're not trying to do that. We're we're just trying to uh, get a, you know, play a whole lot of predicts, get very big Kahiris, get Glorious Evolution out there and go off and, and have like really big Overwhelm attackers. That's that's our goal. All right. So let's see if that kind of Echo Zillion can work because we have definitely struggled with different types of Echo Zillions before. And so I'm going to I'm basically building this version to bypass the removal bypass the interaction and just go hard into trying to make our deck you know do exactly what we want it to do so draven scions this is going to be a tough one because they are also like they're very aggressive uh, i kind of think that we don't have time for the preservariums so i guess we're just going to have perfectionist into echo but I actually think maybe we mulligan Echo in our opener. I think we're going to really want to have a leveled up Echo. Like, Echo doesn't block. All right, so we could have sent the Perfectionist back as well, but I wanted to have a baseline of at least having that 4-2. Let's start by getting some Time Bombs in the deck. Time Bombs could be good for this matchup. They can go wide. Cool. We'll skip. Now, when am I? Hmm, no time bomb. Uh, time trick, not bad to hit. Also think I'm, pro I'm probably just going to skip. 
Yeah, I think we're just gonna skip. A time trick wouldn't necessarily bad to get more, but we we have a whole lot of predict in our hand already. The party has arrived. I really wanted to find time bomb and make more time bombs. Otherwise, more echoes wouldn't have been bad. More glorious evolutions, <laughs> so we can play tons of glorious evolutions. All right, good play by the opponent. Yeah, we're missing not having Mystic Shot. Myst you know, Mystic Shot's great against Draven, of course. Sultan stitches to awaken the blood with you. Could go more zillions. Do we want extra zillions in the deck to make extra time bombs? That's maybe not that bad. Yeah, let's let's take another zillion. Okay, got it. I think maybe. Just a moment. Would have much rather had perfectionist trade with Risen Rider, but I also just want to block. Time for the money maker. Okay, so Zillion is dead. The problem with playing Echo this round is if they have Get Excited. That's kind of bad for me. I mean, it's kind of bad. Like, we're, they'll still level up Echo, of course. But we can't play anything else. And they can play, like, Get Excited and then plus this thing and then attack for a lot. Maybe we should make sure that we're getting two blockers out there. I'm sorry to say, time isn't really an illusion. All right, finally a time bomb. Is always the same. Oh wait, but now we're gonna shuffle away that time bomb. Hmm, that's too bad. Or alternatively, we could not do that. Get a 5 4 instead. Let's go, Keeper. No time to waste. Remember, time spent planning is never wasted. I think we need the blocker. So that's their second Scion that they've discarded. Yeah. I hope they don't have any more Scions. Where are you at? Zero? That's not very close to leveling up. They have a, th they have a third Scion. That was definitely the only card I was really scared of was another Scion. Not dying to Scion is going to be difficult. I I don't know what the plan is. I don't I don't think I have a plan. I think that this is this is the one card that was going to kill me, and looks like it's going to.
I mean, two key, two key here shouldn't work anyway, I don't think. Because they get to rally and reattack. aren't the only twins anymore. Uh, technically, we're the same person. Uh, forget it. Okay. All right, GGs. All right, so we'll see how we do against dragons. You know, like not having the removal spells really, really hurt that matchup, um, as we saw. I kind of had dragons more in mind whenever I made this deck, you know, thinking that like Mystic Shot's not great against dragons kind of thing. I want to keep Glorious Evolution. I just want to try this Glorious Evolution. I guess we get rid of this. Zillion's not amazing against dragons, of course, because of how small it is, how easy it is to challenge. Time is winding. Like a watch. Quickly. I can see putting more echoes into the deck. It's like tomorrow, but it triplicate. So it's not till round seven until I can play this. Please, please, please don't have Shivana. Please don't have Shivana. Because <laughs> uh, if they have Shivana, this game's over. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. It's just, it's really hard to, to beat Dragon Chow into Ruin Dragon Guard into Shivana. That is a very hard combination to, to defeat. So this game is over. Yeah, that's just... That's just the best. And add a Screeching Dragon on top and it makes it... Incredibly difficult to defeat. Let me introduce you to science. A moment in time to preserve. How does it feel? Draw that card. What do you call two time traveling birds, Echo? A paradox. Also, wow, Zill. Wow. There is nothing like that. Witness my true power. Yeah, Zillian Echo does has always struggled against large units, yes. But this this just gets abs like Shivana just gets absurd too fast. That's my thing with the glorious evolution to help out against large units of you know, being able to kind of race. Attempt to race. Don't touch it. So I think this is lethal, right? Because then that, that gets two counters for the Dragon Shivana. Now this takes three less. So I think that's just 20 damage here. If, you know. This is. this. Yeah. Shivana is just absurd. So. 
Good game, opponent. I was about to, glor you know, glorious evolution and stuff, but... Nope. Cool. First of playing Braum. How did Lee do yesterday? Yeah, you can't you can't rely on Thermogenic Beam trying to kill Shivana whenever Shivana starts at six health. After, um, you know, like in that that scenario, it was a four mana five six. That also they had two mana that they could you know have a sharp sight, so it can have eight health. Round four, you, you just you can't Thermogenic Beam. Um, anyway, let's get rid of that. We'll keep the rest. Uh, Lee sent it. The deck did well. Yeah, deck, the deck did well yesterday. It looked good. All right, this this matchup, I'm more sure that we will be able to survive for Glorious Evolution to try this card out. Runeterra is still not working for you. You can't log in. The login issues. Man, that is a bummer. Now, then, or soon. That's bad for us to see. That will speed them up quite a bit. It's like tomorrow, but it's triplicate. Wow. All right, we are in trouble. Not good at finding time bombs. No, Kahir, I don't want to draw you. I want you to stay in the deck. You're saying you don't like where this is going? Yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah, this is very ominous. Them having so much mana. Okay, this can only work on an enemy. Oh, I guess we, we can still cast this? Okay. So you don't have to actually have an enemy out there. What do you call two time traveling birds, Echo? A paradox. Also, wow, Zil. Wow. Wow. Is it the boosters? Who knows? Let's go out, friends. We should be friends. All right, I want to get the Chrono Breaks in the deck. I got all the time in the world. It is easy, see? The problem with playing Kahiri this round, which I'm going to do, but the problem with playing Kahiri this round is we don't get the Glorious Evolution next round. If I didn't play that card to level up Echo, we could have, but you know, I wanted to level up Echo. I could kind of see just passing. They waste a lot of mana. It's not like this attack's like that great, like Mighty Overwhelm blocks, that Echo just helps level up their Braum. I like them. I like them wasting all that mana. Like going to the next round. Okay. Okay. Demacians, attack! Well then. I was so careful not to create a paradox, but we never considered conjoined timelines. Good luck! Have fun! Follow my lead! With me! I'll take this one! <laughs> no time for talking to! Have you met my shield? A 
moment in time to be served. This is what happens to your metagame when you have dragons as a great deck is that people just play absurd cards because you have to to go bigger than dragons you have to play absurd stuff. Okay, so we shall see if we can play against one opponent that doesn't have a perfect hand. Maybe. You know, our first opponent had three Scions. Our second one had the absolute best possible Dragon Hand. And that one obviously, you know, double ramp uh, into Perfect War Mothers. Yeah, you can't you can't kill Braum anymore. The, o the only thing that can kill Braum is like, uh, yeah, like dragons, like dragons with, with fight spells. Like dragons can kill Braum. The Braum doesn't match up very well against dragons. But any if you're if you're just trying to play like regular units that aren't dragons, you you can't kill Braum anymore. <laughs> In 06. it's absurd. So that's a, that's why I'm, I'm hoping we don't run into dragons with our Braum Poppy deck later, because that's the matchup that you'll still lose with with uh Braum. I think we're gonna take a go. I don't want to eat whatever woke you up. You turn it like so. So a good chance that that is to enable. This is my future. Well, I guess there's a couple of different options here. You know, like I was gonna say that, that could enable like the three mana, three mana deal five, but actually they could just have like another make a rain or parlay. But you'd think if they'd have that, they would have just played. Ah, uh, okay. Take a zill. We take a zill pill. No, pass. Don't kill my don't kill my echo. Oh, they have, so they found parlay off of the spray pen. That's too bad. We almost had leveled up, you know, like presence was gonna be like the surprise three. Um, I'm not sure if I should iterate of improvement the spray fin, or even the black market merchant. I guess we could black market merchant and nab something because this is gonna do nexus damage. I'm doing that before an attack so they don't get the crack shot corsair bonus. Hey, that's not bad. That card can do a good job of taking out stuff. Um, attack with both. Powder Monkey kills Chronomancer. That's not fantastic. Time Bomb. Whoa. Maybe we should just take a Kahiri. If we can undo what has that wasn't my plan. We can my plan was like time bomb, Let me show you. enable plunder. I don't change fate, but I can see it. I 
sounds like a doctor. I rarely forget. I never forget. All right, so it's fairly easy for them to level up. You know, like if I try to harpoon, and they can respond by leveling up Gangplank. So I think we just play our Gahiri. Let's go, Keeper. No time to waste. Remember, time spent planning is never wasted. Get a blocker. <laughs> I am gonna be blocking. Don't touch it. We'll trade there. Keep other things alive. Your king has returned. Uh, I wouldn't say I hate or love New Relentless Pursuit. I do like how it's... Like, we're going to try it for the very first time in the Braum Poppy deck coming up. I think. Actually, maybe I took it out. I don't remember. I am excited to play that with uh, Tarek. Alright, Glorious Evolution. We actually get to play this card. Actually get to play this card. Blech. That hurts. Yes. Twelve twelve Kahiri. Okay. Nothing really stays the same. Yes! Keep growing, Kahiri! Man, if only I could actually, like, cast this Absolver this round. I guess I'd take a K another Kahiri, right? Or do I take the Echo? I think we just take another Kahiri. So we're gonna force their Gangplank to block. Right? I think that's the plan. He's on the hands that will shape the future! Alright, good. I'm very happy about that. Take another Gangplank out of their hand, because Gangplank's much scarier. Cool. I don't need another Kira, though. So the only thing that can block to keep him alive is that Gangplank. Get that out of here. So that's good. Shape the future. Is this greedy? Absolutely. But come on. We're going to play two Glorious Evolutions. Now everything has double augment. Is that a thing? Maybe that's not a thing. Maybe you can't have double augment. Sisters did warn us. Safety will cost. Mm. Okay. Should probably take the echo. The boy took from me. Now I'll take from it. All right. So I don't know what card they gra grabbed from me. These are the hands. That will shape the future. <laughs> I like how this ancient preparations has augment too. <laughs> it says augment too. Or no, that that's probably countdown too. Oh, they took a time bomb. Even the void couldn't stop me. Wow, they took a time bomb. Kahiri has returned. All right, GGs. We got to win. No, I have not made a dragon deck yet. We played against basically all... We made three anti-dragon decks. That's, that was yesterday. Um, but yeah, we have a couple copies of Absolvers to be able to give the Kahiri's Overwhelm 
Trundle Trindamir. This is going to be bad because, again, this is kind of like what we've been struggling against is decks that have actually been going bigger than us. That's why I have the Glorious Evolutions in here to try to help our ability to go big. What's up, big? Awesome. It says, hey, Hawktie. Recently came across your videos, and I think they're great. I've been playing your Leo LeBlanc. Ooh, can we get a Herald? We could maybe do a Herald game this time. Might as well try. Uh, yeah, so playing the Leona LeBlanc and the Anti-Dragon Thrall deck, and they've been performing incredibly well. Glad to hear. Okay, hello. Hourglass. Hourglass helps out the Herald. Play this first. All right, so the reason why I'm doing this is because then they pass and now I pass because they wanted to catalyst of aeons here, and so I'm not going to attack for three and let them catalyst of aeons. Uh, just not going to let them do it. All right, Preservarium. All right, so you're at one right now. Where's the time bomb? Whoa. Okay, maybe we take a Kahiri. Ooh, that Kihiri's big, but I want I want to find a time bomb. Let me take this. Can see the Demacian border from here. In Avarosa's name. All right, so there's a time bomb. We're in a little bit of a tough spot here. I guess, alright, so if I go Time Bomb, then we can Herald next round, but then we could also, like, have Kahiri next round. Um, but yeah, I guess we're just gonna go Time Bomb. Okay. Yeah, see, they've they've had that catalyst. Been waiting to heal their nexus sum with that catalyst before playing it, I suppose. We make this place ready. The crystal. Okay, okay. Well, we got powerful stuff in hand. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Let's go, keeper. No time to waste. Remember, time spent planning. I didn't want to lead with the Kahiri before attacks and then they uh you know ruination or something like that. Alright, so don't really want to die to, like, atrocity. Also don't really want to get everything ruinationed away. I'm sorry to say, time isn't really an illusion. My blade grows yep, 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 yep. Okay. I'll make another one of you. Another... Me? The sisters did warn us. Think about hourglassing the Herald and just bringing that up, and then all that does is just give Zillion plus two. No, we need to save it. We shall attack. Try me. Oh, 
Oh, we don't have a leveled up champion. Right. I don't have a leveled up champion. All right, this puts them down to three. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a I don't have a leveled up champion for this. <laughs> I could have had. Maybe do this. Scrying will level up Echo, but not not like in our hand, and we we you have to cast Echo for that to be leveled up. The reason why I did this was to keep, you know, one, keep their turn to mirror from leveling up, but two, keep this thing in 11 11 so that it can. Um, so they can still have a lot of health when blocking. Robo with a tier 1 sub. Thank you, Robo. I appreciate that. All right, so now I guess we have to play Echo, don't we? Because we have to put those rallies in our deck. We don't die to I big attack and atrocity. Hey, make a new Kahiri. How about that? It's always cold in the Freljord. Everything's vulnerable. I think we're just gonna pass. Smashing! Attack! Get ready for a beatdown! Bikathia means my friend. Going down to 11. All right, that predict's not going to really matter because we're going to get the fleeting time trick in hand. Let rage mm. fill your soul. So obviously we have to try to kill that thing. Because otherwise, atrocity gets us. Stomp atrocity. There's nothing in my deck that stops atrocity. All coming back to me now. If only we'd already played the evolution, I could chrono break right now. I guess if I didn't play that absolver, didn't kill the trundle. I guess I could have. Please don't atrocity. That the best you got. Please don't, please don't, please don't. Yeah, so what Korok says that I you know I had the misplay. which which one was the misplay? Was it the you know not you know not kill their trundle and go for chrono break? Did I freeze time again? Oh dear. 
Because, of course, we weren't guaranteed to hit Chrono Break, but... Yeah, it, was, it was just the time trick. I guess that's probably what I had to do. Even I can run out of time. Okay, so there we go. That was Echo Zillion. Uh, you know, only went one and four, but I think, you know, could have been a two and three if I made some different decisions there, that last one. And our first three opponents, man, did they ever have perfect hands. And that, that just happens sometimes with games. You know, when you're looking at five game sample sizes, you can take the same deck and it can go four and one, and then the next time go one and four, and then four and one, then one and four, right? Like, we're just talking about a, a five game sample size here. Um, but I do want, you know, as y'all know, I, I don't uh, just only just record wins and show wins. I show losses too, because we can learn a lot from losses, right? We can learn a lot from, uh, in particular, like that last game, uh, how all, that all played out and everything. And, um, you know, these, these decks are, predict decks are, are difficult to play because of all the decisions that you're making and everything. Every decision that you make means that you can add percentage points to your, your win, to your win to total if you are making the correct decisions, or you can lose those percentage, percentage points if you make the incorrect decisions, which I think that last game, I think I made some incorrect decisions. Um, and that's, that's kind of the fun part about them though, because you know, you have that kind of control in your hand. Now, if your opponent has perfect hands. Are you going to win? Maybe not. That's where we saw those first three games. But, you know, it's it's Echo Zillion. It's, it's not a deck that's ever had, like, a great, great win rate. Like, this isn't a, you know, like, one of the top tier decks. But I think that it can do some really cool stuff. And I was pretty impressed with Kahiri. I think Kahiri did actually look really good. It was always 8-8 eight, eight or larger or... Maybe one time it was a six six, but you know, like it was it was very large and it was something that we needed to handle other decks, uh, like the large stuff that the other decks were doing. The glorious evolution I wasn't as impressed with. We we kind of struggled to get that one to go. Um, you know, there's other options for for top end stuff that may, maybe you got to look elsewhere. Um, you know, your throw you know to help you finish out games because that's what we saw. Like even that last one, we saw that finishing out games can be kind of difficult but i wanted to try that I, th I thought that you know maybe we could glorious evolution and do other stuff but we just didn't have the time that's that was like really the the key is we didn't have time to unload a glorious evolution and stay alive i think a lot of that is pairing glorious evolution here with like no removal i think that's what we kind of saw is that uh it didn't really work with no removal so you know there's there's other options there's give it all there's thrumming swarm there's also just like simply relying on Kahiri's and maybe you just go, you know, maybe put a little bit of removal in here with like some siphoning strikes that pair well with Kahiri. That can also be another thing to grow Zillion and Echo and actually give you a little bit of removal. You can always play Aloof Travelers, you know, have them try to get rid of like those War Mother's Calls and those like top end cards that are just so hard to, to beat. Uh, there's, you know, tons of things. You can play Archivist to help give you like some more... Um, predicts to make those Kahiris even larger that also gives you the body or you can get other ways to kind of cheese out wins you know besides just relying you know I was relying on the absolver but ambush is another good option there because if you can get you know get stuff to have elusive this round that's another good option for finishing out games so maybe you know maybe you want to have more than just three absolvers and have it like absolver and ambush and kind of go that route I don't know you know uh try stuff out those y'all watching later on YouTube let me know let me know if you have great ideas for the deck um, you know, or if you try out Glorious Evolution yourself, and if you're making it work, let me know over there too. I'd be uh, happy to hear about that. But that's going to be it here for Echo Zillion. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.